Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernard from the BJ Tech News, and as you can see, I'm installing EXXI 4.1, and I'm pretty excited. Uh, the reason why I'm installing that because I finally got a machine available at my job to do some virtualization. Uh, we actually had a server available, and the one that I'm using right now is uh, I am using a Power Edge 2850. Uh, it's set up with three hard drives, uh, 0, 1, and 2. I did a RAID configuration, a RAID 5 on it, and uh, everything was successful. A RAID 5, now, it's a SCSI. Now, it's a SCSI. Okay, guys, I know you probably laughing at me because I'm using a SCSI drive. I know a lot of hard drives now nowadays are using SATA, but this particular Power Edge 2850 is using SCSI. So I have three SCSI hard drives, 73 gigs each, and uh, that's a total of about 136, 146 gigabytes in total when you do the RAID 5. Uh, I actually have three more bays available, so I'm going to be upgrading it to six and then adding it to the RAID. And I'm pretty excited because I'm starting to install uh, ESXi 4.1 on it. And the reason why I'm installing this version is because the processor uh, only supports this version. And I have about uh, 3 gigs and I have more available PCI slots on the server to upgrade it. So probably I'm going to get funded on that and I'm pretty excited. So installation is completed as you can see. Everything was successful. I'm really happy that everything was successful. So right now I'm going to hit enter uh, to reboot the server. Uh, the server will shut down and reboot. The process will take a short time to complete. So I'm just going to let this guy ride off and uh, do its thing. And uh, hopefully I will see you when we need to configure it.